All right, we're going to get started. We're going to kind of begin in an easy pose. We're just going to cross our legs. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to take three deep breaths, letting out a sigh. Let go of anything that you need to at this moment. I'll take a deep inhale now. Uh, again. Uh, one more. And then just notice how you're feeling. Keep breathing deeply. And then we're gonna begin movement. We'll blink the eyes open. We're gonna start by lifting the hands up, take a deep inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna go into a twist. We'll drop our right hand under our shoulder, our left hand to our right thigh, pressing with both the hands to twist. Grow taller throughout your spinal column. And then we're gonna drop the chin down and look at the left shoulder. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, we'll twist to the left side. Press in, look back. Grow taller. And then we'll look down at our right shoulder. One more breath here. We'll release the center and then switch which ankle is in front. Lift the hands up again, take an inhale. This time we're gonna interlace our fingers, drop the chin in towards the chest. You can place your hands behind your head, but do not press down. Just allow the weight to rest there and take a breath. Release the hands down. We're gonna lift the chin all the way up. Maybe you can get the back of your head to touch the back of the neck. Once you're there, take a breath. And then we'll drop the chin back to parallel to the floor. We're going to drop our right ear over the right shoulder and take a breath there. Lift the crown of the head up and then drop it over to the left side. And this will be our final breath in this position. Lift the crown of the head up and then we're gonna roll forward into a tabletop pose. In tabletop, we're gonna go through some cat-cow. Wrists under the shoulders, knees are at hips with distance. Drop the tummy down, lift the chin up, take a deep inhale. And then exhale, press into the hands, lift through the mid-back, tuck the chin and the tailbone. And then we're going to follow our breath a few more rounds. Keep in mind today that it's okay to sit things out. If I ask you to do something that isn't working for your body, it's okay to do something different. We're going to go through one more set of cat cow. Come back to a neutral position. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up. We'll come into a down dog. Make sure you are pressing your palms completely flat down into the mat. 
and then spreading the fingers wide, and then pressing out through the fingertips so that you're spreading the weight throughout the palms, throughout the fingertips. We want to make sure that our little wrist bones aren't taking the brunt of all the weight. And then we're going to start to walk our feet forward. We'll come into a fold. This fold, we're going to have our knees bent a lot. Clasp your hands onto opposite elbows. And we're just going to hang here, breathe. Let your neck relax so your chin should be in towards the chest. And then also relax all of the muscles supporting your spinal column. See if you can grow a little bit longer. We'll release the hands down towards the mat. Start to step the vertebrae. We're going to slowly roll up into standing. At the top, we'll do some big shoulder rolls towards the back of the room. And then shoulder roll forward. Okay, bring the arms out to the sides. The palms are going to be facing forward. And then we're going to cross the arms um, in front of us and then swing them out to the sides. Reverse which one's on top each time. Hey, Tammy. And then we're going to give ourselves a hug. Lift your elbows up, and then we're going to try to rotate from the shoulders up. And then reverse direction. Come back to center. Pay attention to which elbow is on top. We'll swing open and then cross again with the opposite. Again, lift the elbows up and then rotate. We'll reverse direction. Come back to center. We'll lift the hands above the head, take a deep inhale, and then we're going to drop them out to the sides and place them onto the hips. Bring your feet out to a mass with distance. And then we're going to push the hips out side to side to start. And then we're going to start drawing half circles on, let's do the left side of the rim first. You're going to push your hips forward, out to the left, back, out to the left, and forward. Let's do three on each side. So after we finish this round, we'll switch to the right side. And then let's go all the way around. Let's do once each direction. And then we'll bring the hips back to center. Keep the feet wide, we'll lift the hands up, inhale. Exhale, we'll swan dive into a fold. Now, if you have a block or maybe a hard bound book, um, you can rest your hand on that. Otherwise, we're gonna place our hand onto the floor, uh, the left hand, excuse me. And we'll lift the right hand up. Look up at it, take a deep inhale. Exhale, we'll release the right hand down. Inhale, the left hand up, look up. And exhale, release it down. Next, we're going to try to interlace our hands behind the back. If you have a towel or something to grip, that might be helpful if you cannot clasp your hands um, without one. And then we're going to raise and lower the hands a few times. Keep in mind, we still need to have a slight bend in the knees here. So we're pulling the hands as far away from the back as they go and then bringing them in again.
and then we'll release the hands. Next, we're gonna slide our right foot behind us coming into basically a lizard pose. We're gonna drop the right knee down to the mat, point the left toes off to the left, place your right hand under your right shoulder. Take your left hand, place it on your left knee, and we're gonna sink our right hip down, press our left knee out to the left side, look past your left shoulder, and just take a deep breath. And then release, tuck the left knee under, and we're gonna come into a closed knee child's pose. If this is not comfortable for you, your other choice is a wide knee child's pose. But let's take about three more deep breaths here. Maybe it'll help you to sway your hips side to side. And then we'll lift back up into table. We're gonna bring the right foot forward to the right edge of the mat, point the toes off, plant the left hand directly under your left shoulder, place your right hand on your right knee. We'll sink the left hip down, look past the right shoulder, push the right knee out to the side and take a deep breath. And then release the right hand down again, tuck the right knee under, and we're gonna come back into a down dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, and walk it out. And then we're gonna lift our heels, we're gonna come up to the balls of the feet, we're gonna maybe bend the knees so that we stretch out the backs of the toes. And then we'll press the heels back down in or towards the mat. We'll do that again two more times. Inhale, lift, bend the knees. Exhale, set the heels back. Last one. And then we'll come back to down dog and start to walk the feet forward into a fold. All right, this time we're gonna reverse one there. So we're gonna try to keep a straight spine as we reach our arms out, lift to half bend, and then the rest of the weight, lifting the hands above the head. We're gonna press the palms together as we drop the hands down to the heart, and we're gonna see if we can get our shoulder blades to squeeze together behind us. Take the next inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, swan dive down. We'll come into a half bend, Bring the body to a 90 degree angle. You can rest your hands on your shins. If you can keep a straight back and uh, comfortably touch the floor, then that's another option for you. We'll exhale, release that hand to fold, and we're gonna slide our right foot behind us. Low lunge. Sway your hips from side to side here. And then we're gonna set our back heel down. The toes are gonna to point slightly to the right for a warrior one stance. And we'll lift up into warrior one. Okay, pull your shoulders down. Engage your core, we're pulling everything in towards the belly button and the back of the spine. We're gonna keep taking deep breaths as we go into a reverse warrior once. So we'll take our right hand, drop it down to the back of the right thigh, actively lift the heart towards the ceiling as you look up, and we're gonna take a deep inhale. As we exhale, let's look down at our right heel. Take an inhale here. As we exhale, we're gonna lift the hand and the chin back up. Again, drop the hands to the heart, press the palms in, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. And then we'll inhale back up. Exhale, swan dive down. Drop the right knee down to the mat. And this time we're gonna slide the left heel all the way forward. 
So you're gonna feel a hamstring stretch. This is another one where if you like have a, a block or a hard bound book, you might want to rest your hands onto that. But you can also decrease the stretch by pointing your toes and having a slight bend in the knee. If you wanna flex and straighten um, to go deeper. So we're gonna keep sinking our torso closer down towards our thigh as our body is opening up and ready for it. Take about two more deep breaths here. And then we'll slide the heel in, lifting the knee back up. We're gonna plant our right hand under our right shoulder, lift the left hand up, take a deep inhale. And then drop the left hand behind the back. We're gonna rest it next to our right hip. And then we're gonna pull our left shoulder behind us, opening up through the heart, lift the chin up, and take a deep inhale. Keep your body in this position. We're just gonna drop the chin down. We're gonna look at our right hand. Pull your left shoulder behind you a little bit more, take another breath. And then we'll release the left hand down. Tuck the right toes under. We're gonna try a standing leg split. So we're gonna see how high we can lift the right foot away from the mat. Good, and then let's release back into hold. We'll reverse swan dive up. Inhale. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Inhale, then back up. And swan dive, exhale. Half lift, inhale. Left foot back. We're going to put it down into a warrior one stance. Toy, a toes point slightly to the left. We'll lift the torso up into warrior one. Okay, shoulders down, core engaged. And then we're going to go into a reverse warrior. We'll take the left hand, drop it down to the back of the left thigh. Lift the heart, look up, and take a breath. On the next inhale, we're going to look down at our left heel. And on the next inhale, we'll lift the hand and the chin back up. Exhale, hands to the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades in. Inhale, then back up. And we'll swan dive down. So now we'll drop the left knee down to the mat and slide the right heel forward. Point, bend to decrease. Flex, straighten to increase. But keep dropping your torso closer to your thigh. Keep breathing still. Couple more breaths here. And we'll lift the knee up as we slide the heel in. We're gonna set the left hand under the left shoulder. Inhale the right up. 
And then drop your right hand behind the back. Rest the hand next to your left hip. Pull your right shoulder behind you. We're going to look up and take a breath. Look down and again take another breath. And then we'll release the right hand down, tuck the right knee under, and we'll come back into down dog. Lift the hips, walk it out. And then we're going to walk the feet forward. And then we're going to try to lift our left ankle up into a standing leg split. And we'll come back into a fold. Reverse swan dive. Inhale up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, hands up. Swan dive, exhale. Half lift, inhale. Right foot back. We'll come up to a warrior one again. Inhale up. All right, we are going to, I'm going to face this way so you can see. Bring our forearms behind our back and clasp our hands on the opposite forearms. And then you're going to press your forearms into your back as firmly as you can. We're going to drop the chin in towards the chest. And then we'll take another breath here. Keep pressing your forearms in. Next, you're going to lift the chin all the way up. Again, keep pressing the forearms in and take another breath. And then we'll release the hands, drop the chin back to parallel to the floor. And we're going to lift the hands up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, we'll drop them to the heart. Again, hands in prayer. And this time we're going to go into a twist. We're going to try to take our right elbow and connect it down to the left thigh. If you cannot do that, please straighten out your arms and bring your forearm down to the left side. And then we're going to use our arms as leverage. We're going to push into them. We're going to twist our torso open to the wall, the left wall. And then if you feel balanced, maybe you can even lift your chin up and look towards the ceiling. We're going to take another deep inhale here. Exhale the hands down. Let's walk them over to the right. And we're going to come into a wide-legged fold. We'll just stay here for a little bit. Shake your head yes a few times. And then just relax the neck and shoulders. We're going to gently pull into the ankles. It's important to have a slight bend in your knees. We'll take another breath here. Release the hands. We're going to walk them forward. We're going to come back into a low lunge and then lift the right ankle again for standing leg split. And forward fold. Reverse swan dive. Inhale up. To the heart. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Left foot behind you. We'll set up for warrior one, and we'll lift back up. So just like last time, we're going to bring our forearms behind our back. But this time, we're going to look up first, and then we're going to drop our chin down to the right, and we're going to look at our right shoulder. Keep pressing your forearms in, and deep. We'll look back up and then drop to the left shoulder. Deep breath, press the forearms in.
And then we're going to drop the chin in towards the chest, release the hands, inhale the hands and chin up, exhale, we'll drop the hands to the heart in prayer. So now it'll be our left elbow connecting down to our right thigh or our forearm. Again, we're going to press down into the thigh, twist our shoulders up into the right wall. Maybe if you feel balanced, lift the chin, look up towards the ceiling. And we'll take one more inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. We'll walk them to the left for a wide legged fold. We'll shake the head now a few times here. And then bring the chin back to a neutral position. We're going to place our hands onto the ankles, gently pull into them, and take another deep breath. Release the hands, walk them forward. We'll come back to low lunge, bending into the front knee. And then we'll lift the left ankle again for standing leg split. Back to forward fold. We're going to walk it out in forward fold, which just means we're bending one knee straight and the opposite one going side to side. And then we'll reverse swan dive up, inhale. To the heart, exhale. Lift, inhale. Swan dive down. Half bend, inhale. Right foot back, again, warrior one. We'll inhale up. All right, this time we're gonna lean forward. We're gonna bring our hands behind the back. The palms will face each other. And then the pulse, we're gonna pulse the hands in and out. Try to make sure that you're not pushing your toes down into the mat at all. Let all of the weight rest in the soles of your feet. We're going to keep going for another three. Two. Stay here. We're going to try to reach the hands forward. Again, pulsing in and out. If this is causing any amount of discomfort in your shoulders, you can go back to where we were before for another three. Two, and one. We'll release again. We're going to come into our wide legged fold. Over to the right. This time we're going to walk to our right ankle. Just stay there, breathe. On the next inhale, we're going to gently pull into that right ankle. And then we'll release the center again, walking the hands forward, coming into a low lunge. And let's do one more set of standing leg splits. We're gonna lift that right ankle back up and then release it down. Reverse, inhale. Exhale to the heart. Lift, inhale. Swan dive down. Half bend, inhale. Left foot back. Warrior one on the next inhale. Just like last time, we'll lean forward, palms face each other, pulse, and check out your toes. Relax them if you're pushing them down. Keep breathing for one. Two, three, and then we're going to reach them forward unless that hurts your shoulders, in which case keep them back. For three, two, and 
and one will release down to the left, coming into wide legged fold on the left side, walking to the left ankle. Just hold it and relax. And then we'll gently pull into the ankle and take another deep breath. Walk the hands forward. We're going to come back to low lunge. And this will be our final standing leg slit, lifting the left ankle. And forward fold. We're going to set the feet back to down dog. This time we'll drop the knees into a wide knee child's pose. So knees out at mats with distance, big toes are together. So set your hips back over your heels and relax here. We're going to take about four more deep breaths. Let's lift back into a tabletop pose. We're going to try, uh, I want to do a gate pose today. So let's go ahead and lift up to our hands. Uh, so we lift up our hands and come up to the knees so our shoulders are lifted. Um, I'm going to extend my right foot out to the right edge of my mat here and face to one side. And then, so this is gonna be gate pose. We're gonna take our right fingers, we're gonna walk our fingers down the right leg, reach the left hand over the head, breathe into the left side of your rib cage. We're gonna look up, take another deep breath. And then we're gonna look down towards our right hand. Again, maybe reach a little bit farther into it and take another breath. And we're going to try for side gate now. So we'll lift back up, but then we're going to drop our left hand under our left shoulder. The right hand will lift up, and we're going to see if maybe we can even stay balanced here. So it does help, as opposed to um, having your toes point towards the right foot, um, on that left knee, twist your left knee and bring your ankle out to the left side. It'll help give you a more stable base. And then we're going to see if we can lift the right foot up and reach the right hand towards the wall in front of us. Good. Let's hold it for another three, two, one, we're going to set the right foot down. We'll lift on the inhale back up, and then we'll tuck that right knee under, and we're going to switch sides. Left foot out. We'll walk the left fingers down the left leg, reach the right hand over the head, breathe into the right side of the rib cage. Look up. And then look down, maybe reach a little bit farther. Inhale up. And then we're going to set our right hand under our right shoulder. Initially, the left hand is lifted up. And then we're going to try to lift the left foot and reach the left hand towards the wall that the crown of our head is pointing towards. Breathe and hold it for another one. Two, three, we'll set the left foot down, 
and we're going to lift back up. Inhale. Let's go ahead and bring that left knee under. While we're here, we're going to practice a camel pose as well. I need you to make sure that your toes are tucked under and your heels are lifted. Then we're going to place our hands on our back so that the fingers are wrapped around to the sides of the hips. We're going to push our palms into the back of our hip bones and push the hips forward. Now, if you can comfortably, when you drop your chin back, if you can see the wall behind you, then you can drop your hands down to your heels. Otherwise, we're just going to keep pushing the hips forward and seeing if we can go farther into a back bend. We're going to take two more deep breaths here. Carefully, slowly bring the chin back into the chest and slide the hips back. And then we're going to go into a cat pose. We're going to do a counter pose. So once your hands are down onto the mat, we'll lift through the mid back, press down into the hands, and just take a couple deep breaths here. And then we're going to come into a puppy dog pose. So we'll walk the hands forward, lower the forehead down to the mat. Remember, as you're holding this, you're trying to drop your heart closer to the floor. So you're sinking your chest down, trying to get deeper into that shoulder stretch. We can take about four more deep breaths there. Also, you can always bring your chin to the mat if that feels good for you. We'll walk the hands in, come back up into a table pose, and then we're going to make our way into seated. Bring your toes to the front edge of the mat. We're just going to hug our knees here for just a moment. And then we are going to, so keep in mind that you can lean back into your hands. If you want to bring them out to the side, if you have the energy and want to exert it, that's an option too. And then we're going to take our right foot and we're going to touch it forward, bring it in, left foot, touch it forward, bring it in, exhale, inhale. We're going to try two more sets. Last one. And then set your feet down, hug the knees. We're going to drop our chin in towards our chest. Just take a breath. And then we'll take the next inhale to grow tall. Lengthen through the spine, lift the heart, lift the crown. And then we're going to come into a wide-legged pose today. So we'll extend our feet out. Keep in mind if you have a low, a tight lower back or really tight hamstrings, it's probably going to be beneficial to either sit up on a block or if you have pillows, you can do that too. We're going to sit up as tall as we can, take a deep inhale here. And then as we exhale, we'll walk the body forward. We'll hang out and just breathe and go deeper into the forward fold.
If it feels like it's something you might want to try, we're gonna to try to reach for our ankles, pull into them, and maybe we can go even a little bit deeper. And we'll take a couple more deep breaths here. Walk your torso over to the right leg. Sink deeper into the pose. We're taking three more breaths here. And then we're going to take our right arm, thread it underneath your left, place your right elbow inside your right thigh, and we're going to drop the forearm down so our entire forearm is pressing into the right leg. And then lift the left elbow up, reach the left fingers towards the right toes. You are still pressing in with your right forearm, but also pulling your left forearm behind you. We're looking up. We're going to take one more breath here. And then we're going to look down towards our right knee. Drop the torso down and we'll walk it over to the left leg. Three more deep breaths here. And we'll take our left arm threaded underneath, place the forearm up against the inside of the left leg, press into it, lift the right elbow up, and we'll reach our right fingers towards the left toes. Keep pressing in with the left elbow and pulling your right elbow behind you. Looking up, we'll take another deep breath. And then we'll look down. We're gonna lift up into seated, bringing our right hand behind us. We'll set it under our right shoulder. Place your left hand onto your right thigh and we're gonna go into a twist. Sit up a little bit taller. On the next inhale, release, come back through center. And then we'll twist to the other side. Again, lengthen through the spine. And on the next inhale, we'll come back to center. Let's lean back into our hands. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together for a butterfly next. Once you're in butterfly, we're gonna flap our wings. And then we'll sit up tall, deep inhale, lengthen. As we exhale, we're gonna fold over our ankles. Once you're in the fold, go ahead and flap your wings again. And then we're gonna use the muscles in our inner thighs to push our knees closer down towards the floor. And we're gonna take about four more deep breaths here. One more very deep breath, maybe sink a little lower. Lift back up into seated. Set the hands under your shoulders so the fingers point forward. We're gonna lean back into the hands. We'll drop the right knee down to the left side. Open up to butterfly and vice versa. Let's do that once more to each side.
Right. Next, we're gonna extend the feet all the way forward, coming into staff pose. This will be our last forward fold. Lift the hands up, inhale, and exhale forward. We'll take about five more deep breaths here. Try to straighten your back, so lift your shoulders just slightly, enough to straighten your spine as much as you can. See if you can fold a little bit deeper from where your hip crease is, and then go back into it. One breath here, one more. We'll walk the hands in, come back up into seated. Scoot the hips forward. We're gonna place our hands under our shoulders and lower the forearms down to the mat. Once your elbows are on the mat, scoot them in as close together as you can get them. And then we're gonna lift our heart towards the ceiling. If your neck is comfortable, we're gonna drop our chin all the way back. Take a couple more deep breaths, but keep lifting your heart towards the ceiling. And then we're going to slowly bring the chin back in towards the chest and lower back down into reclined. Or I should say, this is the first time I've reclined that back. We're gonna lift the knees into the chest and then rock them side to side. Okay, we're gonna go into a happy baby. So we'll lift the ankles up, reach for them. You can reach for your ankles. Maybe you can comfortably grab your feet. We're gonna be pulling our knees down towards the sides of the body. But you're also supposed to be trying to press your tailbone down into the mat. Take a couple more deep breaths here. And then we're going to straighten our legs out. So we're straightening our knees and bringing our feet out wide. So we're in a wide legged stretch here. Keep allowing your inner thighs to relax and your legs to get out wider. We'll take three more deep breaths. And then we're going to release the hands, bring the feet together above you. We are going to bring the hands underneath the bottom so the palms are facing down. Now, slide your hands down. I just want mostly your thumbs under your bottom in the fleshy area, they're not below your bones. So we're gonna press the small part of our back very firmly down into the mat, and we're gonna keep it there. We'll start to lower the ankles forward, but we're gonna pay attention to our back. We will only go as low as we can while our back is still planted. If your back lifts away from the mat, lift your ankles until you can press it down again. Keep breathing. We are going to add point flex. Point flex the feet. Relax your jaw. We're gonna go for another half. Four. Three, two, and one. Bend the knees, set the feet down. Bring the hands out to the sides. We're going to keep the knees together and drop them down side to side. Let's do three sets.
All right, we can, we'll lift the knees back up. And I think we're gonna end, we might do one more after this, but I think we're gonna end with a figure four. We're gonna take our right ankle, place it onto your left thigh. And then we're gonna drop the knees down to the right. Maybe your thigh will touch the floor, your right thigh. We'll lift the knees back up. We're gonna drop them down to the left side. Maybe the sole of the foot touches the floor. And then we'll lift back up. And we're gonna lift the left foot and try to pull your right knee in. Now I can't get my right knee in very far because I had a hip injury that is, uh, that caused me to lose mobility, but maybe you can get your knee in closer than I can. And if you can even hug your arms around your shin and keep your head down on the floor, that's amazing, we should do that. We're gonna keep pulling that shin closer in towards our chest. Take a couple more, very deep breaths. And then we're going to release and we'll set our right foot down onto the mat. We'll cross our left ankle over onto the right thigh. We're going to drop the knees down to the left, maybe the thigh touches. Lift and then to the right. Lift and then we're going to lift the right foot up off the mat to bring our left knee closer into us and then we're gonna hug it. So we're still pulling the shin in as we hold this. I forgot to mention last time, if it feels good, you can extend your right foot forward. Just a couple more breaths here. And then we'll release the left foot down. We've got time for just one more. We're just gonna do something basic. Bring your knees into the chest, place your right hand on your right knee, left hand on your left knee. And we're gonna roll each of the knees around on their own circles. Reverse the directions. And then we'll keep the knees together and roll them around together in one circle multiple times. And reverse stretch. And then set the feet down. And we're gonna finish with Shavasana. We'll extend our feet forward, hands out to the sides. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Press the back of your head into the mat until your chin is slightly tucked towards the chest and then relax the chin away from the chest. We're going to imagine life going back to a state of normalcy so that we can allow ourselves to feel safe and at peace in this moment, knowing that that is what we are walking into.
All right, bring your attention back into your body. How do you feel? We're gonna wiggle the fingers and toes and wake up again. Reach the hands up towards the ceiling, stretch from the hands to the shoulders. And then we'll lift the hands above the head and stretch from the hands to the feet. We'll lift the knees up, walk the feet in. And then we're going to make our way up into a seated position. And we'll end in an easy pose. Go ahead and bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for taking this care, taking this care of yourself. Also keep in mind if you're feeling heightened levels of anxiety and stress, that that is completely normal and there's nothing wrong with you. Thank you for taking care of your stress through yoga and exercise. Namaste.